Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am happy to come your way again to share the word of the Lord with us once more. Um, there is really a very strong delusion. I had a revelation that broke me down. Some people may not actually believe this. But it is the times that we are living in right now. I had a revelation and I saw about five pastors by the altar. There were about four or five pastors. I can't remember exactly the number of the pastors that I saw. They were so happy. It was like the service was ongoing. But the Lord drew me. They were standing front of the altar that means facing the congregation the lord drew my attention to the congregation i saw just two persons two persons sitting at the front front rows and then the other seats were just empty i was wondering how could five up to five pastors pastor of a church that has just two members the church building was so large, and I was wondering what this was. And God spoke to me and told me, you see, you have thousands of persons in this church, but actually I have just two of my children in this church. You see the ministers, they are happy that they have members in the church, but I have just two. When I look at the church, I saw two persons only i don't see the multitude in the church the pastors are seeing thousands of people but i am seeing just these two people in the church i was so sad but the pastors we are happy i could see the happiness the joy in them this is a problem that we have today we have in fact lots of persons among the seven point solid billion human beings we have in the world we have to thought, if not more than to thought of what population, they are Christians. But the world is turning upside down and more and more upside down. There is no change. People come into the church, if I had a new gospel today, is come as you are and remain as you are. But the problem is that sinners are in the church. We used to go outside to preach and bring sinners into the church and modify them with the word of God. Make sure they are given birth to again. But today it is no longer like that. Sinners come into the church and they remain in the church. They remain the way they are. I remember what Jesus said. That what to you, scribes and Pharisees, because you travel miles away to make even one proselyte you go to make a single convert but you in turn make sure you make that proselyte, like that convert twice a, a son of hell and this is the issue that we have so many people in church today but there are lots of deception i shared a video i will leave the link in the description box that i had a revelation where people were actually going into the church but there were two entrances to the church. There was a, the real entrance to the church, but on the ground, there was another grand door. As the people enters, enter the church physically, their souls enter the other ground. This is a problem. I want to encourage you. If you are a believer, you are going to a church, they don't address real issues about your life. You are a sinner, you have been in church for one, two, three years. There is no change in your life. There is no day you shed tears in church. You cry for your sins. Please pack your load and leave that church. The Bible says that before the coming of Christ, the second coming of Jesus Christ, I mean before the rapture, before the second coming, there is going to be a lot of delusion. There is going to be a fall away. This is a time we are living in. And because we have a lot of miracles in town, we don't actually believe that many of those people are from hell, leading people to hell. 
please you need to repent and give your life to jesus christ because as we talk now the day is running time is running and we don't have time again thank you please share this video and try to subscribe don't forget to visit my website www.egoeyeopener.com and also biblicalsexualpurity.com thank you god bless you